you're feeding your snake, what you want to do first is what we call prime the tube. So you're going to put your tube on there. It's going to take a fair bit of force because this stuff is thick. But all you're going to do is push a little bit through the tube. So you see it coming out, hopefully, at the other end. So I got a little bit of food stuff coming out that end of the tube. Then I'm going to put a bunch of KY jelly onto the tube to make it nice and slippery. Okay. It'll take a little bit of resistance because the tube is really bendy. As long as you're going down the back of the throat, you'll be going into the correct hole. So you're going to go in most of the length of the tube. The tricky part is when you have to push the syringe because the material is really thick. So you want to hold your tube onto your syringe and then it's going to take a fair bit of force to get the food to go through the tube. Okay. And make sure you hold your orange tube on tightly onto the syringe because the tendency is when you start forcing it wants to bulge out the tube and the the tube wants to pop off and you don't want to blast your trusty assistant with a, with a bunch of tube feeding mix, okay? So again, it's going to take quite a bit of force and you'll see the tube bulging there to get the food to go through the tube because it's thick, but I don't also don't like to dilute it out too much because of the fact that then you're just diluting out the energy in the food. If you find it's really hard to push, you could mix the food with a little bit of water beforehand just to thin it down just a little bit. And this is not limited by the snake. This is only limited by the size of the tube. and how fast it comes out the other end. Smile, trusty assistant here. <laughs> to shake and take so much force to push them through the tube and I'd like you to feed them if they're not eating on their own you can try and feed them as regularly with their rat but otherwise I'd like you to see you feeding them about once a week until they start eating on their own hopefully by the time we're done the treatment of antibiotics they'll both be eating And at the end, I have a teeny bit left in my tube. All I do is I pull up a teeny bit of air to push that through the tube and you'll typically hear a little pop as the food goes out of the tube and into the snake. Boop. Okay, I pull this tube straight out and we're done.